Hey, how is everybody? I am back and feeling much better. Thank you for everybody who gave me well wishes when I was sick. So guys, I want to talk about Warrior today. This is a show that you really, really should be watching. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you definitely should be watching. So make sure that you follow me through this whole video because I want to lay out why I think you will really love this show. That said, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is home of the best community on YouTube and we love talking action, adventure, sci-fi, and fantasy. So if that's your thing, make sure that you join the community and always make sure that you hit that notification bell because we're not letting YouTube decide what they are going to show you from the channel. You hit that bell and you will always know when something comes out. So, Warrior. So let me just say, man, Warrior is really good. And I was a little bit suspicious of the show when it first came out, but as the episodes have gone by, at this point, we just had episode seven on Friday. I believe it was The Fox and the Tiger was the name of it. It keeps getting better and better. And this show is not just good, it is excellent. Guys, you should be watching this show. If you like martial arts action, you should be watching this show. Now, I feel like I need to say this because a big part of the audience, and if you're new here, you may not know this, are big fans of the show called Into the Badlands that just ended the series on AMC. It's not that type of martial arts show. It's very different when it comes to the martial arts execution and how they do it in the different shows. But is Warrior good? Oh, it's absolutely good. And the drama is top notch. I can guarantee that if you are watching this series, you will be pulled into the drama because what they've done with the characters in Warrior is phenomenal. When I tell you that these characters are layered, they are very layered. Each character has so much going on with it. You can't help but be pulled into the drama just looking at the different aspects of the individual characters. And what they also do that's really cool in this show is they give you the perspective of each character from a social and a cultural aspect. So there's a lot going on within the context of the show because it's set in the 1800s in San Francisco amongst the Tong Wars that were happening then. And that is actually a factual fact of the show. So what the show doesn't shy away from is it gives you the cultural context of what is happening with all of the different people groups in the show at that time. So when you are talking to someone or you're listening to someone in the show that's Irish, you get the Irish perspective of how they feel about the Chinese. You get the Irish perspective of how they feel about how Americans are treating them. You get the Chinese perspective about how they feel about Americans and about the Irish. So you get all of this cultural context that the show really does build into the narrative. And they don't cut any corners, man. Like, they're not just lightly brushing it. They're giving you the straight, this is what it was like at that time. And it is fascinating to see. They use all kinds of stereotypes. There's one part in the show where Officer Lee and Bill are walking down the street and um, Officer Lee is eating something that looks like a sausage or something and Bill makes a comment about it being cat or dog because again, that whole stereotype that that's what uh, Chinese folks cook with. So the show does that type of thing, really trying to bring you into what is going on at that point in time. Those are the aspects of the show in terms of the drama that make it fascinating. So the storytelling is top notch in this. The characters are top notch in this and they all have so much going on within their personal lives. We get to see how they are all dealing with what's happening in San Francisco at this time. Now, when you add the martial arts aspect to it, it, it again takes the show to another level, like it ramps it up. Now, this martial arts is not the type of martial arts that we would see in a show like Into the Badlands or that we you might see in a movie like uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Those types of martial arts are more what we saw up from Into the Badlands, kind of the high flying wire work martial arts. The martial arts in Warrior is much more grounded for the lack of a better word. I don't really like that term grounded. I don't like the distinction. It just kind of bothers me, but it's the best way to describe it. But the martial arts element added to this is really good as well. So when you mix the drama, the story and the martial arts, you really do get a very good show. Not to mention Assam, the lead character in the show, is patterned after Bruce Lee's fighting style and even mannerisms. So a lot that he does in the show is very uh, reflective or reminiscent of seeing Bruce on the screen, even though he's a better actor than Bruce Lee is. <gasps> I might get in trouble for saying that, but hey, he is. 
So this show is phenomenal. And I would just say that if you are not watching it, you should give it a try. And if there's anybody out there that's feeling what I'm about to say, I'm not even sure how to say it, but I feel like some people might not be watching this show just out of like straight protest, right? That they're not going to watch it because they 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 only will accept Into the Badlands as a good martial arts drama. And if that's the case, that's a mistake. I don't I don't know how Daniel or some of the other guys feel about Warrior. I haven't talked to any of them about it, but it's a really good show. And Daniel made a comment a while ago about Into the Badlands maybe being before its time. This was after we found out the show was going to be canceled. About it maybe being before its time. And he feels like Into the Badlands was kind of a forerunner for shows to come. And I certainly can see that, right? I can see some aspects of how Warrior maybe even borrows from Into the Badlands. Now, whether they knew they were doing it or whether they didn't, I don't know. But I can see how Into the Badlands kind of lays the foreground for a show like Warrior, even though they are very different shows. That said, we are going live, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday night. Have some really exciting things that I was thinking about concerning Into the Badlands that I want to share with you guys. And I just want to hang out with you guys. That said, I'm going here next to the next Warrior video. I will see you guys there. I will see you in the comments. And I will see you on Tuesday. Peace.